NFL on CBS. Today's game is sponsored by the Miller Brewing Company, Brewers of Miller Highlight. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. Ford Motor Company, building tomorrow's cars today. And by Sperry, we understand how important it is to listen. Welcome to the Silverdome in Pontiac, Michigan for this afternoon's NFL matchup, the Washington Redskins and the Detroit Lions. Hi, everybody. I'm Frank Lieber along with Sonny Jurgensen. And neither of these clubs wants to be 0-2 after today, but in all likelihood, somebody's going to be. Well, the Redskins are a team searching for an identity, and 0-2 and isn't the identity that they are looking for. And they would really like to be rewarded for some of the hard work they've been doing with a little success. I think the Lions, on the other hand, are a team that suffering from the shock value of losing all the players they have, and they want to get back to playing the football they're capable of. Lions not in good shape physically. Redskins, on the other hand, are very healthy, and we're ready now for the opening kickoff of this afternoon's game. Redskins won the toss of the coin, elected to receive. It'll be Benny Ricardo, number one. The place kicking specialist for the Detroit Lions doing his number. Hardiman is deep, along with Clarence Harmon. Buddy Hardiman at the 20, 30, up across the 30 to the 40-yard line. It was Ricardo who made the tackle. This guy's turned into quite a kick returner. Well, a great start for the Redskins. Uh, get good field position out to about the 41-yard line. This is what they like, and uh, he has been. Every kick he's touched so far, he's almost broken it. The Washington offensive lineup. Wiggins and Benny Malone in the backfield. Thompson was in motion. John Riggins taking the handoff, and he is upended at the line of scrimmage by Dave Gallagher, number 71, the former New York Giant. So let's take a look now at the Detroit defense. There's the front four. Gallagher has replaced John Woodcock, who is out for the year with a back injury. Two rookies among the linebacking crew. And the Detroit defensive secondary. Ken Ellis is the new face in there. Second down. Loss of a yard in the play. It's 11 needed for the Redskins. Steisman over the middle to Riggins at the 40, 45. And John Riggins has a first down at the Detroit line. 48-yard line. Hunter coming up from the secondary, number 28, to make the stop. Good smart call, Frank. Watch John Riggins. He sits in there to block, and then he just a little check down pattern. Theismann very wisely, everyone was covered, and he drops it off to John. John, good hard running, picks up the first down. Hunter has been moved from the corner position of the free safety to this year to take advantage of his uh, great speed. First and 10, Redskins from the 48-yard line. Washington coming out in that full house backfield and then setting Ricky Thompson in motion. This time Malone. Couple of yards at most to the 46. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience and any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Detroit Lions and the National Football League is prohibited. Second down, nine for the Redskins with the ball at the 47-yard line of Detroit. Well, I'm sure Washington would like to get on the board in a hurry, get ahead of the Lions and make force them to put the ball up. Both wide receivers to the left side. Theismann handing to Malone. He's at the 45, and Benny is down to the 43-yard line. Before he's dropped by the Lions, Ken Ellis, number 48. It's safe call. Came back to the same call. They ran the play before that, Frank. Third down and four needed for the first down. Redskins have the ball at the 43-yard line of Detroit. Opening moments of the ball game. Fifth defensive back comes into the lineup for the Detroit Lions. Theismann, good protection. Now he's in trouble. English has a shot at him. Theismann at the 50 to the 45 and run out of bounds. Short of the first down at the 43-yard line. John Brooks, number 53, rookie linebacker, finally ran him out of bounds. I was kind of surprised that Joe rolled out to his left that time. A little sprint out tight pass, but he sprinted to the man that gave him a lot of trouble last year. 
And of course, that's uh, Al Baker over there. Looks like he would be sprinting away from his side. So a punting situation for Detroit. Leonard Thompson, number 39, is back deep, along with Ken Calicut, number 31. Mike Bragg to do the punting for the Redskins, standing on his own 42, angling for the near side coffin corner. And Calicut watching it sail over his head and out of bounds. Looks like inside the 10. Let's see where they mark it. They're very close to it. I believe they'll mark it at the 8-yard line. A 34-yard boot. But it's where he kicked it that counts. So the Lions take over offensively for the first time. This is the way their offensive line shapes up. Keith Dorney, the number one draft pick, right tackle out of Penn State. The receivers, Gene Washington, the veteran, getting a start in place of Luther Blue, who is benched at fullback. Bo Robinson, a rookie, replaces Horace King. Jeff Comlo, out of Delaware. And I imagine he's going to be sticking pretty much on the ground today as much as he can as Dexter Bussey carried out to the 14-yard line. Let's take a look at the Redskins defense right now. Here's the front four. Little change there. Yes, they got Lorch starting in place of Joe Jones, expecting the Lions to run the ball a lot along with Butts Talbert and Coy Bacon. Ducey, Cover, and Malott, two rookie linebackers also there. Very good secondary with Mark Murphy coming in and taking the place of Jake Scott. Each team starting two rookie linebackers. Second down, four. Lions from their 14-yard line. Lusty trying to go over the top that time. Stopped short of the first down at the 19-yard line. Take a look at it. What's this? Right over the top. He was trying to get all he could out of the play. Dexter Bussey going up. Don Hover in on the play, along with Brad Dusick, getting a lot of help also. Carl Lortz coming in there, making a play. The first two plays the Lions have run. Frank have been at... Rich Malott and Don Hover. He got just enough for the first down. Officials spot the ball at the Detroit 19 yard line. Tom Lowe, we mentioned on the pregame show, went to high school in the Washington area. Bo Robinson, rookie running back out of West Texas State. And one of their top draft picks carries to the 26 for a pickup of seven. Hover and Murphy making the stop. Uh, this is a change also. Bo Robinson getting a start from West Texas State. Coming in for uh, Horace King, who's been the fullback. I think they want a little bigger back in there. Robinson is going about 225. Gives them a little more strength. He broke a lot of the West Texas State rushing records held by Dwayne Thomas and Mercury Morris and Rocky Thompson. And I think with excellent credentials. Second and three. Bussy trying to pick his way around the 30. He does. And the Lions, as I recall, ran well by the Redskins last year. They did, and last week, and I was thinking just when they started back on their eight-yard line, that this wasn't the type of place that Monty Clark wanted this young quarterback, Jeff Comlo, to start in. But uh, he has two first downs and has yet to put the ball up. They did run well last year against the uh, Redskins, and it looks like that's exactly what they want to do today. Ronnie Clark is shuttling Leonard Thompson and Gene Washington with the plays from the bench. First and 10, Lions at their 29. Still sticking on the ground. It is Dexter Bussey to the 31. Pickup of two that time, jammed up by the middle of the Redskins defensive line. It'll be second down eight. Oklowitz was in the ball game, made the stop. Yeah, they made a little change. They've gone to the 34 defense. They expected to see some of this if uh, Washington just, I mean, if the Lions just wanted to run and uh, they put Okowitz and Hover in the middle and they got the Malad and uh, Dusik on the outside. Thompson wide to the right side. Scott in the slot, the handoff. Robinson tries the left side and pulls his way up to the 34. That'll set a third down. That's still six needed for the first down, so he may go to the air. Kind of a historic pass coming up here. Looks like it's a situation you got third and about six to go, and this is this young man could be his first throw in professional football in a league game. Third down. You think he'll put it up? I think he'll put it up, don't you? You got to sooner or later, don't you? You got to. There's Monty Clark, former All Pro lineman with the Cleveland Browns. Don Shula's right hand man at Miami, and of course, head coach at San Francisco. 
quick pass to David Hill, the tight end. First down, Lions at the 46. Mark Murphy, number 29, making the stop. David Hill, their Pro Bowl tight end, one of the more underrated tight ends in the game. Boy, a good safe pass and a good read by Jeff Comlo. Redskins going inside and outside on Hill. You see the first man to hit him was Mark Murphy. The middle linebacker had gone weak, and very wisely, he just took the little looky pass. Smart play. 12-yard pickup on the play, and a line first down at the 46. Dexter Bussey across the 50, 45, Murphy from behind at the 35-yard line. First down, Detroit. They're rolling. Well, he really gets a block out of number 36, Bo Robinson right here. Bussy follows him well. You see, if he just missed him. He made the block there. He gets outside. Murphy has to chase him down from behind. Obviously, the Lions saw that Houston had little difficulty running against the Redskins last week. They're doing the same thing. That was good for 20. First down. 34-yard line of the Redskins. Rick Kane, number 32, is coming at running back. That's Kane to the 30, to the 25, and down to the 24. Hard-running veteran. Oklowitz making the stop at the 24-yard line. That'll be very close to another first down. I just remember where this drive started, back on their own 8-yard line, and they're down to the 24-yard line right now. Very impressive drive. Referee Gene Barth and his crew handling the ball game this afternoon here at the Silverdome. Just one pass so far by the rookie quarterback. They've moved it on the ground against the Redskins. Second down, less than a yard. Ball is at the 24 of Washington. Straight handoff and a big hole up the middle. Bo Robinson, the fullback, picks up the first down at the 16-yard line. They're tearing big holes in that defensive line. That offensive line of the Lions is doing an excellent job coming off the ball. They're running at will right now. And the Redskins have given them a couple of different looks. They went to the 34 to try to confuse them a little bit. That didn't seem to work, and they've gone back to their four-man rush now. But they're just coming off the ball doing a job. Nothing fancy. Gene Washington wide to the left side. Scott in the slot inside of him. I think there's his first rookie mistake. Huh? Well, the preliminary indication we got is uh, illegal motion against the Lions. I thought maybe the 32nd ran down on him. Well, both teams last week, Frank, beat themselves uh, with mistakes uh, in the game. The Lions made all their mistakes very early. The Redskins made some uh, late in the game. Illegal motion is the call against the Lions. It costs them five, so move it back to the 21-yard line. We'll see if we can pick that up for you. See if that right guard moves. Watch the man. Looks like the fullback flinches a little bit. Back to live action. First down 15 from the Redskins 21-yard line. Dexter Bussey throws his body into the middle, takes it inside the 20 down to the 18-yard line. Dave Butts, number 65. On the bottom of the pile for the Redskins who are in white. As you're wondering, behind Comlo at quarterback, the Lions have Scott Hunter, who they got two weeks ago from Atlanta on waivers, and Jerry Goldstein, the former New York Giant quarterback, they picked up just this week. Second and 12. Detroit at the Redskins, 18. No score early in the game. Comlo looking for six. Intended for Gene Washington and knocked down by Joe Lavender, number 20. Well, that was almost picked off, too. He was very late throwing the football in. Could have been picked off, and he had open field in front of him. You might wonder, and Redskin fans might wonder, why the Lions wouldn't be interested in your friend Mr. Kilmer in the situation that they're in. I don't think Billy was contacted. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, he wanted to play or not. Third down, 12. Redskins dig it in, trying to hold the lines. Again to Hill over the middle, but not enough for the first down. Tackled at the 12 by Mark Murphy. 
And that, of course, sets up a field goal situation for Benny Ricardo, who was third in scoring in the league last year. Fine hand for the Lions offense and the young quarterback, Tomlow particularly. We have less than a capacity crowd here. This place holds about 80,000, and they're expecting about 60. The punter, Swider, is the holder, and here's Ricardo from the 17, which will make it a 27-yard try. It's good. Lines are first from the scoreboard with four minutes and 17 seconds left to play in the opening period. It's Detroit 3, Washington nothing. Sorry. I said we are not interested in that proposal. <sighs> the meeting is next Thursday, Bill. 60 long terms on September. Fredericks, are you listening to me? Uh, if there's one thing you should remember about this deal... Not knowing how to listen has cost American business billions of dollars. Well, as one of the world's major corporations, we at Sperry are doing something about it. We've set up extensive listening programs that Sperry employees worldwide can take part in. And when you do business with Sperry Univac or any of our other divisions, you're going to discover that Sperry listens like no one you've ever done business with. 80,000! I said 8,000! No, no! Sperry, we understand how important it is to listen. Ricardo getting ready to kick off. It's a pretty impressive drive, Sonny. It was. They moved the ball on the ground. Well, uh, I think one of the reasons, Frank, is because Redskins are using very basic defenses to try to help their young linebackers. Lions used up almost eight minutes on the clock in that drive. 4.17 left in the opening period as Ricardo kicks off. This one coming down to the Redskins short man, Harris. Tripped up as he crossed the 20-yard line. Tonight on CBS, another hard-hitting edition of 60 Minutes. After the U.S. Open tennis action, then Archie and Edith Bunker keep the comedy coming on All in the Family. And be sure and join Bonnie Franklin for one day at a time. And you'll see why when you're looking at CBS, you're looking good. Looking good, huh? You like that slogan? I do. I didn't make it up. <laughs> Somebody else beat me, too. First and ten, Redskins. At their own 21-yard line. Second offensive possession of the afternoon, and Theisman hands it to Riggins, and there's not much there. John Brooks, number 53, making the stop for the Detroit Lions. I saw you before the game saying hi to all the uh, walking wounded of the Lions out there, saying, how's your back, how's your knee, how's your leg? Well, I tell you, you could really do it because uh, Gary Danielson and Woodcock and Sladaney and Walt Williams is out. Well, they have really had uh, been decimated by the number of injuries. Second and eight. Washington at its own 22-yard line. Ricky Thompson in motion. Theismann hands to Riggins. Sweeps the left side. Drags a couple of tacklers across the 25 up to the 27-yard line. It'll be third down. They need three for the first. Got a first quarter score here in New Orleans leading Green Bay three to nothing. I don't believe it. Tony Galbraith kicked a field goal. Erksleben has a bad leg. He's out, so they're letting He's Galbraith out. kick field goals. They're letting Galbraith kick field goals today. Erksleben may not get his job back. He huh? may not. <laughs> Third down. Redskins need a little less than three for the first down. Ball is at their 27-yard line. Washington has picked up one first down in the game so far. Harmon. That should be good for the first at the 32-yard line. He runs nice. That's a young man that every time he comes into the game, he really makes things happen. You see, it's kind of a little delayed handoff, kind of a crossing draw pattern. He comes across, good block on Cole. He ducks in, enough for the first down. They call the front four of the Detroit Lions the Silver Rush. You know, they were second last year in sacks in the NFL to the Dallas Cowboys. At 55, led by... A fantastic rookie defensive end, Al Baker. Here's Theismann pitching to Malone. 
across the 35 to the 37. Gallagher, number 71, making the stop. Hey, with all the injuries they've had, John Woodcock, as we said, is a regular defensive tackle. He hurt his back, had to have an operation in preseason, so they brought in Cleveland Elam, pretty good ball player from San Francisco, so he breaks his hand. So now he's out. They got one backup defensive lineman, and he's a former tight end, played tight end last year. William Gay, it's T6-4-2-40, uh, and they moved him over there because uh, they just needed somebody because he's doing a pretty good job. And he was Bill Gay when he was a tight end. <laughs> now he's William as a defender. Riggins. Stopped by the Lions at about the line of scrimmage. Jones, number 46, making the stop. Jets in New England are in the first period of their ball game. New England. Yeah, New England's up ahead of them, uh, seven to nothing now. First quarter score, 49-yard pass. Harold Jackson. Giants are leading the Cardinals. How about that? First quarter score, seven to nothing. Third down again. The Redskins need three for the first down with the ball at their 39. They trail three nothing late in the first period. Joe Theismann, good protection. Joe's going to run for it, and he's got the first down and some change as he goes out of bounds at the Washington 47-yard line. Well, he's got great quickness. He didn't see anybody open, and uh, that's two times he's been back to throw the football down the field, and both times elected to run with the thing. Does he have a tendency, you think, to take off perhaps sooner than he should? I think they've tried to work on Joe with that. He has tried to work on it himself to stay in the pocket, hang in there as long as he can, try to read the pattern and throw the football. He does like to run. He has the ability to run with it. First and 10, Redskins at their 47. We're in the final minute of play in the opening period. Here at the Silverdome in Pontiac, Michigan. Theismann, well, I'll tell you one thing, he had a cinch reception there to Danny Bugs if Charlie Weaver, number 59, wouldn't have got his hands on the football. CBS Sports Spectacular starts a new season next Saturday. Lineup of some of the events you'll see. Howard Davis against Termite Watkins. Fine boxing match from Houston. The Italian Grand Prix and the U.S. Amateur Roller Skating Championships from Fort Worth. I know you're a big roller skating fan. Oh, yes. Where are they skating uh, to? Oklahoma? I don't know where they're going. I understand you skate up and down Virginia. Oh, yeah. huh? You have to. That's a big thing in Washington. That's very big. Second and ten. Redskins at their 47. Riggins up the middle. Crosses the 50 to the 48-yard line of the Detroit Lions. Some good blocking at the point of attack. Watch Bob Kazeel coming off. Good block on Doug English by Ron Saul. You see Weaver, the linebacker, coming over. First man to make contact. Terry Hermeling couldn't quite cut him off. Reagan's coming off a year where he gained 1,014 yards. Third down. Long five needed for the first down. Crowd comes alive here in the Silver Dawn. Redskins at the 48-yard line of Detroit. Blitz is on. Theismann gets it away. Completes it for the first down to Fugit at the 38-yard line. Boy, he made a real good throw there, a strong throw, a little turn-in pattern. This is what Thaisman's really been working hard on. He hangs in there. You see the rush by English. He steps right in and throws the ball under pressure and hits Fugit on a turn-in. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. The Detroit Lions three, the Washington Redskins nothing. It's official. Ford's answer to rebates, the largest incentives ever available to its dealers. The biggest clearance offer in Ford history just got bigger. See your Ford dealer and discover how many hundreds of dollars you can save on new trimmer LTDs, Mustang pace car replicas, elegant Thunderbirds, top V8 pickups, vans, Broncos, Rancheros. Compare the total Ford deal with any other. You may well find it's the best value overall. It's my best motor oil, Sunoco Special. Heck, you can take this 10W40 grade, do a lot of hard driving, and it'll stay a 40 grade. Now that's an oil you can count on. I can be very friendly, yes I can. Catch you with kindness, that's my plan. Give you every courtesy, that's what friendly is to me. I can be very friendly, very friendly. Yes I can. View this fall, catch California fever when every day is sun and fun and every night is something else. Jimmy McNichol and Mark McClure star in California fever. 
Mike Lieber with Sonny Jurgensen at the Pontiac Silverdome. Redskins on the move as we start the second period. They have a first down at the Detroit Lions 38-yard line. Joe Theismann at the throttle. Benny Malone picking his way across the line of scrimmage inside the 35, down to the 32. Eddie Cole, number 50, makes the stop for Detroit. What about this score? The St. Louis Cardinals are now behind the New York Giants, 14 to nothing. Giants got an interception for their second uh, touchdown, 31-yard interception by Ernie Jones. And New England's leading the Jets, 14 to nothing. Pittsburgh, seven, Houston, nothing. That's a big game. Second down, five. Redskins from the 33 of the Lions. Harmon, looked like that time he might have had better luck had he gone outside. Looked like he started outside. Charlie Weaver took a rig real outside uh, move there to force him back in. See Theismann back, just a direct handoff. You'll see Weaver, see Weaver shoot it. Number 59 was Weaver, shot, it, shot outside to force the play back to the inside. To the pursuit. Third down, less than a yard. Very close for the first down for the Redskins at the Detroit 28 yard line. Washington trailing by a score of 3 0. Redskins with two tight ends in there. Warren is in there now to John Fugit. Riggins gets the call and gets the first down and a lot more as he carries to the 15-yard line. A pickup of 13 on the play. Eddie Cole, number 50, makes the stop. Well, John Riggins had the presence this time trying to go for the first down, but he saw some daylight and cuts back on the play, beats a tackle there, picks up more than the first down, takes the ball down to about the 15-yard line. So the Redskins marching, the nose of the ball spotted just out the side, the 16. Ricky Thompson to the left side, Bugs to the right, Riggins again on the carry, and Riggins reaches the 10. Puts him over the 30-yard mark, rushing for the afternoon. He, he lost his shoe in the process. <laughs> he did the same thing he did on the other play. Good piece of cutback running. The offensive line sustaining their block, staying on their feet, running through the people allows him to cut back, even though the play was designed to go outside. Second down, four, needed for the first down. That's a first period score. Steelers over the Oilers. Randy Thornton just on a little short run, one yard for the touchdown. A lot of moving around by that Detroit defense. Malone, juke to the inside, tried to take it out, got a couple of yards to the eight. Doug Jones, number 46, on the stop for the Lions. He made a good play then, playing off his block, trying to turn Malone back inside to make the play then. Heisman didn't throw it much last week against the uh, Oilers, passed only 14 times. Picked up Third, about three. Two of them were good for touchdowns, yeah. though. They picked their spots. They really didn't have the ball a lot. Something, a little mix up on the play that Ten came in, because Heisman called timeout. So he'll go over and talk about it with head coach Jack Pardee. We have 12.03 left in the first half. Lions lead it three to nothing. 30 years ago on a hot summer's day, your father taught you how to dig for clams. Now that it's a job, the sun seems hotter and the day longer. But the clams taste just as sweet. And now comes Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find. America's quality beer, Miller High Life. If you've got the time, if you've got the time, we've got the beer, Miller Beer. Ever since American Airlines flew the first passenger jet across this country, we've been bringing people closer together. And now, with the Super Saver fares we pioneered, you can save 40 or 50 percent all over Americans America. From Albany to Albuquerque, from Nashville to Knoxville, from sea to shining sea. As we head back to action, it'll be third down and three for the Redskins at the eight-yard line. 
of the Detroit Lions. Redskins trailing 3 0. Lion defense digging in. Theismann back to throw it. Protection is good. He's got a touchdown. Fine strike to Ricky Thompson. Well, what a catch he made and a great throw by Joe Theismann. Watch this. He goes back, gets good protection here. Thompson runs it out and comes back around the defender and makes a diving catch. He hit circle the defender then, came all the way around him to make the catch. So the Redskins capture the lead 6-3 to three, and Mosley on to try the extra point. Theismann will hold. Whatever he found out during the timeout certainly was the right play, wasn't it? Absolutely. It's good. It is good. 11.57 now left to play in the first half. Fine drive by the Washington Redskins, who lead the Lions now 7-3. Radio Shack has slashed the price on one of our top-of-the-line stereo systems. Right now, save $310 on this impressive realistic hi-fi. You get this quality AM-FM stereo receiver, a pair of realistic tower speakers, and this precision belt drive turntable, all for only $579. A great entertainment bargain and a beautiful addition to your home. The sale-priced realistic stereo system, just $579, only at Radio Shack, a Tandy company. This baby's been from Maine to Malibu, but I don't let her go nowhere without the treatment. This is no car. This is a legend. And you better believe I give her the treatment. STP oil treatment. Since 1964, over half a billion cans have been sold. No other brand even comes close. So do what millions do. Give your car the treatment from STP. This sweetheart gets a treat, and this sweetheart gets the treatment. Following the game, CBS Sports presents live coverage of the finals of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships. You'll say you saw it on CBS Sports. A unique football tennis doubleheader on CBS this afternoon with the finals of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships from Flushing Meadow coming up next. Well, that's going to be some final. Got an all New York final on the men's side, Gerolitis and McEnroe, and of course, uh, Chris Everett Lloyd against Tracy Austin. On the women's side, Calicut lets this one sail over his head and on out of the end zone for the touchback. So the Lions will put it in play at the 20-yard line. Kind of an unusual kick for Mark Mosley. He usually gets a great deal of height on the ball and tries to get it real high so his people can get down in coverage. That time he hit the ball a little high and drove it over the goalpost, almost to the goalpost anyway. Redskins, as you saw, Fine 80 yard touchdown drive using the pass very sparingly, running Malone and Riggins. And now lead it 7 to 3. Jeff Comlo, the 10th quarterback selected in the draft this year and the only rookie to do any passing in the opening games last weekend. He came on in relief from Tampa Bay. Didn't have that much success. Robinson trying to fight off some tacklers, gets a couple of yards. Carl Larch, number 71. On the stop for the Redskins, helping out was Brad Dusek, number 59. Yeah, Dusek and Lorch really played that well. They stayed away from their blocks. Uh, Carl Lorch is uh, going against the young man they're really high on, and that's Keith Dorney from Penn State. Excellent uh, offensive lineman. They say he's got such great potential. They're real high on him. That was their top draft choice. He may have been the top offensive line prospect to come out of the draft. Second and seven, Dexter Bussey. Caught as he tried to turn the corner there by Opowitz. In the first period, Buffalo with a field goal, 18-yarder by Tom Dempsey, leads Cincinnati 3 to nothing. Oklowitz, of course, a Maryland boy. We mentioned that uh, the Detroit quarterback, Kamlo, went to school at Delaware, grew up in the Washington area, went to DeMatha High School. And very much wanted to go to Maryland, but they weren't recruiting quarterbacks that year, apparently. So it odds it very well. Delaware, there's a fumble, and the Redskins have it. Lorch fell on the ball at the 23-yard line. Quick turnover. A bad exchange. You can see it right here. Take a look. It's hard to tell whether Comlo pulled out too soon 
but he didn't make the exchange with Larry Terry. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Carl Lorch was alert because he's right down on the football. A big break for the Redskins, who have a first down at the 23-yard line of the Detroit Lions. Theismann sending Bugs wide to the right side. He's got Ricky Thompson flank to the left. Just one running back. That's Riggins. And it's Riggins who gets the call. Big hole. 20, 15, 10, and out of bounds at the six-yard line. Boy, did that open up for him. I think the little different six surprised uh, Detroit with only one running back. They went into a double wing set. And you see Riggins finds a lot of daylight outside. Finally pushed out of bounds by James Hunter. Riggins off to a pretty good afternoon running the football. First and goal to go. Redskins at the six-yard line. Thompson wide right. Bugs is split to the left. Malone in the slot left this time. Another double wing setup, and this time they're ready for Riggins. Riggins has stopped standing up for a loss in the play. Good defensive charge by Charlie Weaver, number 59, the veteran linebacker of the Lions. Obviously, they made an adjustment because this is the same play the Redskins had run to the right side, but they're running it this way against a veteran linebacker instead of John Brooks, the rookie linebacker from Clemson. They say his progress was halted at the 10-yard line, so it'll be a loss of four. Second and goal to go, Redskins from the line 10. Boy, this is where they like to go to Gene Fugit. He smells that goal line when he gets close. We've got Buddy Hardiman in the backfield now, along with Harmon. Theismann over the middle and misses a wide open. Gene Fugit, just as you mentioned, he was there. He was wide open. It was a mistake in the coverage. Eddie Cole, you can see the strong safety. Doug Jones talking to his middle linebacker. Take a look at this. Fugit is wide open. Nobody around him. Cole did not move. Gets a hand up. Could have just taken a little bit off of that, laid it in front of him. Easy touchdown. Yes. Joe would like to have that one back. Oh, I guess so. Third down, goal to go. Warren has come in to tight end, replacing Fugit. Bugs wide to the right side. Thompson set in the slot inside of it. Third and goal from the 10. Lions faking the blitz on Theismann. Let's see if he checks off. He's back to throw. Here they come. He lost the ball. The Lions pick it up. However, it'll be whistled in. The play will be whistled dead back where the recovery was made at the 20-yard line. James Hunter, number 28. And that draws a lot of moves. Big break for the skins. Big break for the skins and not losing that football then. And the people in Detroit don't like it. They mark the ball at the 18-yard line, and that is a huge break. Well, it certainly was. Mosley. Touchdown and almost going the other way for a touchdown. Theismann will hold. This will be a 35-yard field goal attempt for Mosley. It's done. So the Redskins get three points out of it. They lead Detroit 10 to 3 with 9.26 left in the half. If we could take you through the plant to show you what is new and let you see what's going on and watch the things we do. If you could see the cars and trucks. Introducing the incredible Ford Factory Tour. Come and see the things we're doing to rethink, redesign, reshape the automobile. 
incredible things to produce a new generation of more fuel-efficient cars and trucks. If you could see tomorrow. How'd you like the tour? Incredible. Say incredible. Ford Advance Incredible. To take the incredible Ford factory tour, write us for information. Mosley getting ready to kick off. Let's talk about that uh, Theismann play a little bit. That could have been a case where the officials ruled that Theismann was in the grasp of the opposition and the play had been whistled dead before he fumbled. That's the only thing we can figure out. Otherwise, you figured Detroit would have gotten the football. Not much question about that. Kickoff is taken by Robinson. And Bo Robinson carries it back to the 28-yard line. Tomorrow night on CBS, start your evening of comedy with how Bugs Bunny won the West. Then a classic song becomes a delightful show on Puff the Magic Dragon, MASH, and WKRP in Cincinnati. And then, of course, Lou Grant. Great night of television viewing tomorrow night on CBS. Being the big Bugs Bunny fan that you are, I know you'll be in front of your set. Hey, that's a good lineup. Officials mark it at the 27th, first and 10. Dexter Bussey in motion. Come low hands to Robinson, who plows his way forward to the 30-yard line. I mean, what else could that play have been? What else? I can't think of any other call they could have made. Can you? I think that is the call. Uh, the new rule this year is that when the quarterback is in the grasp of the defensive rushman, they're not going to allow them to throw the quarterback down. And uh, they're going to blow the whistle. And it was a quick whistle, and it was a big break for the Redskins. Sometimes that hampers somebody with the ability of running ability of a thighsman. Tom Lowe is two out of three throwing the ball for 20 yards. Second down seven. Bussy. Nice hole over the right side. And he jets out beyond the 35. To the 36. Don Hover, number 58, made the stop. Take a look at this. This is good running. You see that Lyman, they're going back to the 34 defense. You see Hover trying to make the play there. Okowitz coming Third over on the play line. along with Dusek. Three linebackers in on that play. Are they figuring on playing Okowitz as much as they have? Uh, they're, they're very high on that man. Look at this. Minnesota leading the Bears 7 to nothing. That is a second period score. We have a third and one. Lions at their 36. They trail by a score of 10 to 3 here in the second quarter. Robinson plowing forward. Very close for the first down at the 37-yard line. This may be close enough for measurement. I think he came up a little short. Looked like he came up short, didn't he? According to where they mark it. He may have. Two teams in the throws of change, the Lions and the Redskins. Redskins with seven rookies on their club this year. When's the last time you remember Washington <laughs> having seven rookies? Never met seven rookies. <laughs> In Washington. Maybe in the years combined. Huh? Boy, they just got it. You see that measurement just by the corner of the football. Looked like they came up short. Good marking for the, uh, the Lions there. Keep their drive alive. I think the Redskins realize now that uh, the Lions are content just to run this football, not try to make too many mistakes. They're going to run the football at them. Well, what would you do under the circumstance? Exactly the same. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on this young quarterback. First and 10, Detroit at its 37-yard line. That's the tight end, David Hill in motion. Nice fake by the rookie, Cumlo. Gets it downfield, wide open. On the far sideline is Freddie Scott, number 87. And talking with Bob Stepler, he said, we're going to try to keep everything simple to begin with, but if we fall behind, we're not going to be afraid to put it up. They have a lot of confidence in this young man. Yes, they say he's still a kid. He's still learning. He makes a good throw, throws the ball on time here. Good pass, good completion, another first down. 17 yards and a first down for the Lions at the Redskin 46. Oh, a little play design here. Little X's and O's on the Detroit Lions bench. Out of stunning by the Redskins. That time they send Scott in motion over the middle and incomplete. That was intended for Leonard Thompson, number 39. Joe Lavender separated him from the football. Difficult pass to throw, real difficult pass to throw, faking that ball to the left and then coming up and throwing the slant pattern. He headed out in front of him a little bit. 
and Lions haven't beaten the Redskins since 1965. You had to bring that up, didn't you? I, I, I couldn't recall who would be quarterbacking <laughs> the Redskins in 1965. I think it must have been Sammy Ball. The only people open that day was their secondary because that threw to them four times. <laughs> Second and ten. Bussy, individual effort, takes it down to the 43-yard line. Pick up a four, second and six. Watch this. It looks like he was going to stop. Let's watch the play. Talbot going out into his block, overfilling the hole. Takes on the blocker pretty good. Who's coming to Rich Malott coming in there, making the tackle. Both of those young linebackers made fine plays then. Third down, six. Lines at the 42-yard line of the Washington Redskins. Both clubs looking for their first victory of the young NFL season. Tomlo, big rush. He's going long for David Hill. Hill with the catch. First down at the one-yard line. However, there's a flag on the play. Penalty marker at the line of scrimmage. And it's going to be called back. Holding against the Lions. And David Hill doesn't realize it yet. He doesn't realize there's a penalty on the play. It's celebrating in the end zone. And they're going to have to line up back in their own territory and do it again. I would imagine. Now he knows. Now he knows. He hurt his thumb, it looks like, on that play. What a great catch. And a great throw by Mr. Kumlo, huh? Not bad. He had it right on the money. Not bad at all. Another break for the Redskins. Well, that's two to nothing in the way of breaks. <laughs> Ooh, that was a biggie. With the injuries they have had, particularly at the quarterback position, Danielson and all, the loss to Tampa Bay, it would be hard not to be demoralized. Well, I think that Monty Clark told me down on the field that if they're over the shock of losing all those players, and they just have to get to the business of playing up to their capabilities. Third and 16. Pumps it once, and pumps it twice, and it is ruled an incompleted pass. Second time he pumped it, he <laughs> tried to hang on and couldn't do it. That's kind of embarrassing. Tried to and lost it. Hey, he pulled it down. He didn't throw it for grabs. Good pressure that time. Six minutes, 24 seconds left to play in the first half. This will be the first time that Larry Swider's Going into punt. Obviously had an outstanding week against Tampa Bay. That's the only bright spot they had last week. That's the way he kicked the football. Hardeman is deep, and he leads the NFL in punt returns. Swider, beautiful high punt. Hardeman's going to let this one land on the fly in the end zone. 52 yards on the kick. That won't hurt Mr. Swider's average. That's one area they're not hurting despite the loss of Tom Splinani, one of the top punters in the league last year. Timeout, Redskins leading 10 to three. Honey, is this homeowner's insurance high? I don't know, I think it's too much. How would I know? Compare with Allstate. Compare? compare? Bring in your policy and compare rates. If you have a good deal, we'll tell you. But for many, chances are we've got a better deal. We've got a better deal. Allstate might save you some money. But you'll never know until you bring in your policy and compare. Oh, that's a good deal. <laughs> when you want to save on homeowner's insurance, yeah. <laughs> Allstate wants to help. That's a promise from us. The good hands, people. To dry food, dirt, and dust, hey. good filters are a must. You can trust AC. Thanks, AC. Trust those filters by AC. We're glad I installed new AC air and oil filters before we get into this mess. I bet AC helps protect those babies too, huh, Dad? If they're smart. You charge! Oh. So when you gotta go, wear the name to know. You can trust AC. Thanks, Thanks AC. AC. Trust those filters by AC. Thanks, AC. Trust those filters by AC. Here's a look at some of the Lion fans, around 60,000 in attendance. Of course, uh, they're going to be playing the Super Bowl here, you know, in 1982. And it's going to be fun coming up to Pontiac in January. 1982. Can you imagine the people trying to get in and out of here if they have a snowstorm or something? Blizzard. Of course, it's a great, great facility. Beautiful place, no question about that. First and 10, Redskins at their 20 following the touchback. Theismann 
giving to Riggins. And John doing what he does best. Straight up the middle of the 22-yard line. Charlie Weaver. Veteran linebackers had a good afternoon so far. Number 59 making the stop. Theismann is three out of five for 30 yards. Riggins has now run eight times for a total of 42 yards. When his uh, youngster was born, I understand he gave everybody ears of corn instead of cigars. Is that right? He's a good guy. Kansas product, quite obviously. Second down eight. Theismann under pressure. Got rid of it to Riggins at the 25, and Riggins very close for the first down. Had to reach the 30-yard line, and that's the stripe right there. He's across it. This is an indication of the maturity of Joe Theismann. A little rollout to the left, not finding anybody. I think Joe may have taken off last year. A lot of pressure right around him. He dumps the ball, takes a little check down to Riggins. Pressure particularly from Doug English. Oh, boy, a good choice of uh, getting rid of the ball, saving the play right then instead of taking off and running with it. Up for a first down. First and 10, Redskins at their 30-yard line. They lead it 10 to 3 here in the second period. Hardeman cutting back inside and picking up good yardage. Out to the 38, pick up of eight on that play, second and two. This is a young man, of course, who uh, played in Canada for a couple of years. And when the Redskins cut loose Tony Green, they felt they had an Attawood kick returner, and so far that's proved to be a pretty good decision. Boy, he's, uh, he's really returned kicks well for him. Minnesota second leading the Bears 7 and nothing. Tommy Kramer ran one in on this game. A little short run. Shows you the value of having a running quarterback, doesn't it? Second and a long two for the Redskins, and they give it to Riggins. He gets one. It'll be third down and one yard. Needed for the first down, Al Baker, number 60. The all-pro defensive end of the Detroit Lions making the stop. Baker was just a number two draft pick last year, but he turned into be a demon defensive lineman. Bears just got a field goal. Uh, Vikings leading seven to three in that game. New England's really putting it to the Jets, 21 to three in the second quarter. Our score, the Redskins 10, the Lions three, three and a half minutes left to go. First half, third down and a yard. Redskins at their 39. Harmon, got it. First down, Washington at the 41. Washington has spent a lot of time working on short yardage plays. They did in training camp, wanted to keep their drives going, trying to be more successful on third and short situation. You can see where it's paid off. This is a type of reward we were talking about before the game, Frank, where they, it's success. You know, you get some little reward for all that hard work you've been doing. Eight new starters on this Redskin team. Only 28 players left from their roster, which opened last September. Hardeman wants to throw it. Gets it away. He's got Ricky Thompson. First down at the 29-yard line of the Detroit Lions. I didn't know he could throw. Huh? He returns kicks. He runs. He throws. He's doing a little bit of everything. And what a good throw he made. He got an awful lot on the ball, running with the ball. Watch this. A pitch back to Hardeman. Puts it under his arm like he then takes it up to throw, but look at the accurate throw that he makes. Ricky Thompson, who has scored one touchdown for the Redskins, the only touchdown of the ball game, pulls that in for a 30-yard gain. And the Redskins have a first down at the line, 28. Not a bad percentage. Checking their scores. The Giants, St. Louis came back and got on the board. Cincinnati over Buffalo. A lot of protection. Has all day and has his man wide open. Warren is down at the 10. He's at the five-yard line. And that will draw a few boos from the Detroit oh. Lions fans. Don Warren, the rookie tight end from San Diego State. Yeah, we, were, we were remarking earlier to Sonny what the odds are on one team in the NFL having two rookie tight ends. Same position from the same school which the Redskins have in Warren and Phil DeVos. But they also had another one uh, in training camp. Bill Helms was in training camp, so they ended up in training camp with three tight ends from San Diego State. Two-minute warning coming up. First and goal to go. 
for the Washington That's Redskins at the Detroit Lions five-yard line. Redskins seem to be in command right now. They lead it by a score of 10 to 3. When you're a lifeguard, you practice all you can. Because saving a few seconds may save a few lives. But now comes Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find. America's quality beer. Miller High Life. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. Miller Beer. These are the blueprints for an automotive revolution. This is the J.C. Penny shock absorber. Its unique patented metering pin adjusts the ride automatically while you drive. So you get the control of heavy duty shocks when the going gets rough. And the ride of original equipment shocks when the road is smooth. And if it ever fails, return it. We'll replace it free for as long as you own your car. The J.C. Penny shock absorber. It's the last shock absorber your car will ever need. Following the game, CBS Sports presents live coverage of the finals of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships. You'll say you saw it on CBS Sports. CBS Sports Spectacular starting a brand new season. Big lightweight fight there. Howard Davis, who hasn't lost yet. And you all remember Maurice Termite Watkins. <laughs> Redskins driving. First and goal to goal from the five yard line. This started back at the 20 following the touchback on the line punt. Big hole, and it's walk in time to the end zone for Benny Malone. Benny Malone. I'm telling you, there was some fine blocking on this play. They just kind of move around to the right side. Take a look at it. Watch the block by Riggins. Jeff Williams pulling out. Don Warren, boy, there's a good block by And this, look at Riggins, straighten him up. Oh, he puts him on his back, knocks his helmet off. Malone goes in. Nobody, he could have gone 120 yards if he wanted to. It was Hunter that Riggins blocked, and it is Hunter who is down on the field right now. Well, Williams and uh, Riggins really made a big hole there. Don Warren also on a fine block. 80 yards on the touchdown drive by the Redskins, and that makes it 16 to 3 with the extra point try to come. See, Hunter's another guy that this club can't afford to lose. He's one of the key members of that secondary, and they already lost one member of the secondary in Walt Williams. Jim Allen is banged up. They're going with a lot of different people. Doug Jones is having to play in there also. So another member of their secondary, another injury, as you said. He just can't believe the number of players that the Lions have lost. Monty Clark can't believe it, can he? I mean, well, he can't. Seems to be okay. This was a team, second half of last season, the only club in the NFL that had a better record in the NFC, I should say, that had a better record than the Lions was Dallas. They really came on strong. Remember they killed Minnesota in that Saturday game? and really came into this season with a lot of momentum with Danielson and quarterback and then the injuries hit. Mosley with the extra point try. It is good. Is One good. minute, 55 seconds left to play in the first half and the Redskins have now moved out to a 17-3 lead over the Lions here in Pontiac. We'll be back in a moment. on a river of wood and the spinning shapes in the cold dark water are your only bridge home so you keep on dancing until the last log is in place and you can head for miller time time for the best tasting beer you can find miller high life when it's time to relax we've got the beer miller beer if you've got the time we've got the beer Now Ford, the long-distance champ, has the longest range of any pickup in America and the best pickup MPG. With a standard 19-gallon tank plus optional tank, you've got a 39-gallon capacity, which gives it an estimated range with optional overdrive transmission of 709 miles based on EPA rating. The estimated highway range is 946 miles. One-third the length of America on one fill-up. Top Ford pickups, the longest range of any pickup in America. Ford, the long-distance champ. <laughs> 